Now, as we did with demand, we will tabulate some data and use it to create a graph to explain this law of supply. Remember, these are just tools to help us understand how supply works. OK, let's start with our table. Assuming you're the owner of the funky chicken, how many fried chicken pieces are you willing to supply if the price of one piece of fried chicken is, say, seven rand? Any figure will do to start with. So let's start with, say, 14 pieces. And at six rand, well, the law says that if the price drops, so will the quantity supplied. So, 12 pieces. At five rand, 10 pieces, and so on using round figures until our table is complete. This clearly confirms that a positive relationship exists between the price and the quantity supplied. In other words, the higher the price, the higher the quantity supplied, and the lower the price, the lower the quantity supplied. You'll see later that this relationship is governed by the law of diminishing returns.